Okay, let's do our viewer mail. Here we go. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> Okay, the viewer mail theme song. <laughs> uh, letter number one. Dear sir, I am glad there is one element of sanity and tenderness in the show. And I mean Paul. His presence counteracts all of the villainy and viciousness that takes place. Sincerely, Marvin A. Carmichael, Vancouver, Washington. That's, that's a very nice compliment. Paul, did you hear that? That's very nice. Isn't that Paul? Paul. Paul. Excuse me? Dave, were you, uh... Were, 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 you, were you speaking to me? No, never mind. <laughs> it's, it's Manny Patinkas. This is a beautiful song. No one sings it better than this man. Why, oh, why? Smells like Colonel Sanders has been through here. <laughs> yeah, it's the. Uh... No, oh, no. Where I are we? Gasoline filler. Did you notice that? <laughs> yeah. Where are we? Is it two? I guess it's two. Dear Dave, when a hot dog. I'm sorry. When a hot dog. When a dog food. When a dog food claims to have improved flavor, how can we really be sure that it's true and not just a heinous marketing scam? Uh, yours truly, uh, Maura Desher. Impressionable youth. That's an excellent question, uh, Maura. And because I care about you, the dog-owning home viewer, here to answer that question is our own Chris Elliott. Chris, come on out. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. Chris, now, as, as I understand it, you have uh, two cans of the same dog food, the regular and the new improved. Right. And you're going to tell us if there's a difference? Right, between kennel ration and kennel ration new improved. You're going to conduct a little test there. And we'll see which okay. is better. All right. Well, we'll look forward to it. Well, those are cute doggies. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Are those yours? No, they're not. Those, uh -huh. are, those are props. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep them away from the chicks. Okay. <laughs> or what's left of them. Okay, boys. Very cute dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, I think she's right. I can't tell much difference yeah. between All right. Thanks anyway, Dave. He maybe should get a saltine to cleanse his palate there. <laughs> the, the chicks are actually just fine, aren't they just yeah, fine? the chicks are, they're all right. There they are, they see? They're just fine. Chicks are all right. Uh, dear Dave, do you ever have a problem with members of your audience making out during the show? Uh, just curious, Andrew Houston, uh, Mill Valley, California. <laughs> no, I don't think so, uh, Andrew. Our audiences are actually uh, great, they're, and they're very, very well behaved. As a matter of fact, Hal, if we have a second, Turn one of the cameras around and let's show the folks at home, the studio audience. And I think you'll see for yourself, Andrew, they're really, really on their best behavior. So if we can... Um... Hal? Hal? Good look. Hal? Sorry, Dave. Uh, uh, what do you want? Never, never mind, Hal. Just forget it. Go ahead, Dave. <laughs> it's Gurney in there with a babe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually the, we have no problem. Very few problems like that, usually. Yeah, that's right. Hardly ever. But the chicks are okay, aren't they? Yeah, chicks are, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a special effect. Uh, Dear Dave, letter number four begins, if late night, that's the program you're watching now, were to have a season-ending cliffhanger, you know, like they have on Dallas and yeah. Dynasty and uh, Knott's Landing. Season and ending. Shows. Yeah, where you just don't know what's going to happen. A cliffhanger. You have to wait till the next yeah. season. Well, play. this gentleman wants to know, if we had one here on our show, how would it end? It comes from uh, Mike Kaufman, just curious, Charleston, West Virginia. 
You know, Mike, I'm sorry you missed this because last season we did, we had a cliffhanger and it was the end of the regular season. And Hal, do we have that loaded up? You do, Dave. Okay, it, it had uh, something to do with the stagehand Al Marr. And uh, watch closely. This was uh, last season's uh, cliffhanger. I hope you enjoy it, Mike. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, Al. Good night, Dave. Boy, we had quite a season, didn't we? Oh, uh, we got a winner. A lot of fun. Yes, we did. See ya. Should I take a leak now or wait till I get home? You're you're looking at one very proud man. <laughs> been quite a day for yours truly we'll uh, do a commercial we'll be right back here with our first guest of the evening Shelley Winters come on back here.